Hi, Jane and for ByTheOkanagan.com. Today we're going to talk about something that has been on the news right across Canada for the last few days, and that was the Oliver of Asuyu's mudslide. The powers that be are still investigating the cause, but it is thought that the little lake that sits up in the mountain uh, high above the highway leading from Oliver to Asuyu's uh, and being used as an irrigation uh, and water uh, supply for one of the large ranches up there uh, overflowed its banks, washed out the road and culvert that was being used as a, a dam and uh, just come flying down the mountain. We've had quite a lot of rain in the last uh, three or four weeks and uh, nobody really monitored the lake and uh, when they finally did find out that uh, it was in a uh, very bad situation with it overflowing the banks. It was On the right hand side of the shot you can see where it broke through underneath the road the culvert and washed everything away. The lake looks much smaller now that the water has all drained from it and there's lots of uh, uh, sleep, uh, steep banks going into the water now. At one time they were covered right up to the This dry lake bed doesn't look any more uh, frightening than a puddle anymore, does it? But it, at the damage that it did when it overflowed was certainly devastating. The helicopter is following the mud slide as it uh, washes out the highway and covers the highway as it's uh, heading down the valley towards the Suez. You can see the crops are pretty well covered in places with the... Here's another shot of that same house showing the devastation. Another shot of the devastation shortly after the flood, just hours after the flood of mud. Here's another sad scene. A uh, house covered in mud, barns covered. You know the nice thing was not one soul was injured or hurt. They were all able to escape even though it was only within seconds of the, uh, the water and mud flowing into their farm yard. There's a big new house, probably six or seven bedroom home, and uh, the farm that was attached to it is now nothing but uh, silt and mud. These uh, personal experiences of horror that these uh, folks in at least six different properties suffered uh, uh, will be with them for the rest of their life not to mention the uh, terrific, horrendous uh, expense that it's going to cost to rectify the damage. This was a commercial venture with uh, hot houses and also uh, uh, cold storage for fruit, barns, buildings, houses, everything uh, just got swamped. It's been a terrible feeling for those people there. Uh, Mothers and children were in the house and they just heard this kind of a, a roar, almost like a 747 uh, jet plane. Ran outside, saw this thing coming and just started to run. I'm here at ground zero and as you can see behind me they're starting to clear some of the mud and debris out of their backyards. That's basically folks where it all happened. Way up in the hills up there and that's where the lake was and the creek went flying down the side of the hill. This is the highway and that's how high the mud was piled up. They had to cut a hole through it to make the highway passable. These folks are beautiful cherry trees and sadly for the poor farmer he isn't going to be harvesting any this year. Well, sir, what is your name? And uh, how many orchards did you have destroyed? One and a half. One and a half orchards are gone. And this big machinery too. And you, the machinery gone. Uh, how There's about your house? House is gone. One house. One house is gone. One house is gone on the highway. Oh my goodness, eh? Yeah. So there's about five or six houses that are really bad shape. What do you say? About five or six houses are in bad shape along here that got hit by the mudslide? Oh, maybe seven, eight families. Oh my goodness, eh? That's really sad. So you got the, uh, the boy... No help up to now. No help, eh? No, nobody care. Well, I think people care, but... People care, not government care, nobody gave you any assistance. Not the insurance. Well, I'll try some of the cherries that 
you aren't going to be able to buy this year. Mmm. Mmm. So wonderful, so sweet. What a sad thing. All these trees destroyed. This is basically what's left of his uh, cherry orchard. Well, folks, this is the mean culprit. This is the creek. It was just a trickle, and now it's still got lots of water coming down. Hasn't drained the lake yet, but... Uh, As you can see, they have the shovel in the creek. They're creating these man-made ponds so that the water is slowed down and it doesn't erode the side. But it's a big job, and they got a long ways to go to get back to the hill there, where it all began. Okay, I'm talking with Carolyn now. She's holding the stop sign and the go sign and she's been here since day one up to her knees in mud and in the last few days they've been able to move thousands of uh, tons of rock and that, haven't they Carolyn? Yeah. Uh, now where did they take it to you said? Just to the south of uh, Monashi Pit they call it. So they're just going to stockpile it? Yeah, they can't really use it for road building can they? It's cool. pretty muddy. It's, it's clay and sand. You know, I walked over there and I'm still sinking in the mud. It hasn't dried. <laughs> no, no, you need your gumboots. You need your gumboots. Well, I'm going to let you go because I know you're busy. Thanks, Carolyn. Bye now. This is Jane Al Lynch for BuyTheOkanagan.com and the side of the highway where traffic is once again moving at a fairly steady pace. I'm up against the uh, mud uh, slide bank here. And as you can see, there's a great deal of work still left to be done. See you next time. Bye.